武蔵宮元イズマンドフサモストポピュラーサムライオーラーラウンザワールドイズナイフフィロソフィーハッピンザサブジェクトオブカウントレスフィルムス TV ドラマスマンガブックス There are few people in Japan who have no knowledge about him In this video we'll find out whether Japanese businesses put Musashi's philosophy into practical use and we'll consider why we are attracted to Musashi so much From one thing, no ten thousand things. When you attain the way of strategy, there will not be one thing you cannot see. Mastering a certain number of kanji, or Chinese characters, is considered very important to communicate in Japan. All children start learning them. After entering a primary school, at the age of six or seven, they spend the next nine years learning around 2,200 kanji, stroke by stroke, until they complete the compulsory education in junior high school. Today, 97% of children will say go on to high school. For three years. Of course, they learn even more kanji in high school. The most common way to learn kanji is to write them down repeatedly. In other words, rote learning. Critical or original thinking is unnecessary. Imagination is distraction. This probably influences Japanese people's way of thinking. In addition, the importance of maintaining harmony is hammered into children in moral education classes through their student life. Consequently, they subconsciously feel more comfortable, pretending to think and feel the same as everyone around them. People say the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. These aspects prevent the development of critical thinking and analytical skills, both before and after entering the workplace. These essential business skills are in very short supply. Despite Musashi's clear advice, About having an effective point of view rooted in critical judgment. The gaze should be large and broad. This is the twofold gaze perception and sight. Perception is strong and sight weak. In strategy, it is important to see distant things as if they were close and to take a distanced view. Of close things. It is important in strategy to know the enemy's sword and not to be distracted by insignificant movements of his sword. In single combat, you must not fix the eyes on details. As I said before, If you fix your eyes on details and neglect important things, your spirit will become bewildered and victory will escape you. Today, in many big companies, each department or person in charge tend to understand only their specific area. Although efficiency has been the top priorities since the 1950s, a large part of the working day is devoted to unproductive formalities. Managers in each division are asked to offer the best ideas to achieve a goal. 
which is often very ambiguous. Unimmediate and obsessive focus on details, which often have no relevance to the bigger picture. Provides a basis for senior management to adopt a compromised solution that pleases everyone. By contrast, successful global companies begin the process of setting goals by first outlining the whole project in broad brush strokes. There is a proverb, Yishin Denshin, meaning that you develop an ability to understand each other without language. If you've known each other long enough, But there are no mystical powers at play here. It's easy to know the mind of someone who, like you, is trying hard to follow the path of least resistance and go with the flow. This leads to a level of complexity that can mean hundreds of meetings have no definitive outcome. No clear plan of action. What is worse than a committee decision is an indefinite compromise that bends to the pressure of maintaining harmony. An aggregate of uncritical platitudes. Really skillful people never run out of time and are always deliberate. They never Appear busy. And yet, the Japanese salarymen who consider themselves later than samurai constantly feel stressed and pressured, occasionally working themselves to death without realizing that they are focusing on the wrong things. The flower, not the fruit. If we listen to men of other schools discussing theory and concentrating on techniques with the hands, even though they may seem skillful to watch, they have not the slightest true spirit. Of course, men who study in this way think they are training the body and the spirit, but it is an obstacle to the true way. And it is a bad influence that remains forever. Thus, the true way of strategy is becoming decadent and dying out. The true way of the sword is the craft of defeating the enemy in a fight, and nothing other than this. Why do these things happen? It is probably. Because ultimately they value the flower more than the fruit. As Musashi said, harmony requires social form, a highly demanding and complex kind of etiquette, which is the most important kata in contemporary Japan. Social form is the focus of everyday culture, including Contemporary images of the dutiful samurai, who is not only selfless and fearless, but also misskilled, to an almost mystical degree. And yet, Musashi defeated the best of them, with a bad attitude and a large stick. According to The Japanese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in business, making a profit is the purpose of every company's existence. Making a profit is the primary function, the function that is essential for survival. Musashi repeatedly demonstrated that the true purpose of samurai was to kill and survive, to fight again. 
、アストリクトアタッチメントとわかったもうエニプリデモンストレーティットフォーム。キャンオフトンビカム。アカンパティングディストラクション。フロマーレッサーアパタイティング。トゥルーパーパス。Why have we been fascinated by Musashi's philosophy for over 400 years? As you probably noticed, if you've already seen the first video in this series, Musashi did only what he believed was right. Without caring about other people's reactions or opinions. Musashi's anger at his father, who constantly criticized his opinions, Let him to become the most famous samurai of his time. If the many stories are to be believed, he achieved this by decisively winning 60 fights against samurai with a reputation for extreme skills. Perhaps, Musashi had the advantage of being psychopaths. Cold, Focused and utterly useless. But according to Oxford University researcher Kevin Dutton, the people who are most successful in business, such as corporate CEOs and lawyers, actually have the highest rates of psychopathy in modern society. He says, Any situation where you've got a power structure, a hierarchy, the ability to manipulate, or wield control over people, you get psychopaths doing very well. Mental architecture, Peter k r u n says, having a desire of belonging is an instinct for human to survive. And it's natural, lots of us tend to care how other people think about us. So, it's clear that Musashi did what many of us simply cannot do. Fictional psychopaths, such as Hannibal Lecter, provide a constant source of fascination. Is this One of the significant reasons why people all around the world are attracted to the tales about Miyamoto Musashi? What do you think about Musashi's life was and called clinical philosophy? Please leave a comment below.